Hello and welcome. Today's our discussion is on classification versus clustering and we will give you a very short overview about it. So let us see what is classification with the help of an illustration. If you ask what is this or what is this to a five year old kid, he will immediately reply that this is an apple and this is an orange. So what do we understand from this example? Basically, a five year old boy can adapt and react to different objects. We want to teach similar adaptation to a machine to recognize and provide actions. So we can say that discriminatory power of humans or machines to recognize objects is classification. So now let us see what is clustering with the help of an example. If a bag of fruits given to us, which are not so familiar, we can't do classification. However, can we arrange? As you can see, we found three distinct bags representing three clusters. This process is basically known as clustering. So let us see some more points about clustering. We may not have any prior information. There's one point. We want to arrange similar objects together and dissimilar objects in different clusters. Now let us see a quick overview of machine learning. It can be subdivided into two main categories, supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Classification falls under supervised learning, whereas clustering comes under unsupervised learning. For supervised learning, the state of nature, or we also call class labels, for each pattern or object is known, whereas for unsupervised learning, it is unknown. There are many techniques under supervised learning, such as linear discriminant analysis, nearest neighbor classifier, KNN classifier, neural networks, support vector machine, random forest, and so on. For unsupervised learning, there are also techniques such as independent component analysis, genetic algorithms, hierarchical clustering, k-means algorithm, and so on. Supervised learning generally divided into two sub-tasks. First one is training phase, also known as model estimation. And second one is testing phase, which is known as class labeling. Sometimes we also need another task, which is known as validation task. The validation task is performed to evaluate the model's fitness. So this was a very brief overview of classification and clustering. Thanks for watching.